Hi, and welcome to Make It Monday. I'm Lisa Johnson, and today I'm going to share with you how to create faux watercoloring images with regular dye ink and a paintbrush. This is the card we're going to create today. It's a thank you card, and I'm using star prints as well as butterfly dreams. So the first thing I went ahead and did in die, is die cut one of the fillable frames in rustic white cardstock. And I went ahead and got my brand new paper tray ink formula, Pure Poppy. I'm going to stamp my first little butterfly dead center on the frame here. There we go. This is great. It cleans off really easy and fast. I'm so excited about this new ink formula. A little wipe. And the next is spring moss. Just love this cute little detailed butterfly from this set. And finally, Aquamist. It's kind of hard to line these little guys up on video. So here they are, nice and crisp. You can see how, how crisp the images are. And now I'm going to kind of soften them up with my Aqua brush. Now you can use a regular water wa watercolor brush with water. And I like to just go over all of the lines and make sure there's plenty of water on those lighter colors. Now this effect takes a few minutes for the bleed to really show. You'll really see towards the end of the video how much the watercolor effect kicks in. But with the darker pigment inks, my experience has been, and it, this butterfly will show you, that that dark pigment bleeds really quick and gives you a really great idea of what's going to happen towards the end of the the drying cycle. I'm very careful with this pure poppy butterfly because it has the potential to really kind of look sloppy so I'm making sure that I'm staying within the lines and making sure that I don't get too much water in this particular image because that will bleed quite a bit. There we go. I'm going to set that side to dry in a minute, but I think first what I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment. See how that is starting to blur out? So I have this beautiful thank you sentiment from Star Prints. I'm just going to stamp it in black using the, the palette black on this because of any potential of the water kind of leaking down. Okay. So now I've got my card. It's already ha it already has the strips all done on it from the pattern paper. And I'm just going to ink the edges. And I thought while I was doing this, I'd show you how I re-ink my cube. I take my dry cube that's kind of done, and I kiss it onto a brand new cube. And this is the Tea Dye Duo set from Paper Tray Ink. And I'm using the lightest of the two colors that's available in that set. I want to make sure it's not juicy, so that's why you'll see me having the two pads. One's nice and dry so that I can hear that flick while I'm inking the edges directly. I just love the vintage feel that you get when you use the Tea Dye Duo. It adds a lot to projects and as far as depth is concerned. Okay. So I went ahead and tied some rustic button jute on here. On that, and I'll set that aside. And I'm going to go ahead and put some crystals on the centers of the butterfly. So I put a large one in the middle. I want to create a little bit more balance on the card by adding that weight dead center. Get that crystal sheet right up to the edge there so I can 
inch it right on there without it flying somewhere. Now I've made sure that I've let this the butterfly images amply dry before adhering the crystals. If not, they'll just fly right off. And we don't want that to happen. We want them to be given to the recipient intact, ready to go. Little foam squares. And I want to create a gutter because this is going to go straight over the ribbon that I tied. And I want that bow that on the card to actually go dead center to the point of the frame that I I created. Well, I'm noticing that that's not quite lined up, so I'm going to make sure that that middle part, that middle string of of tying that around, is the one where the bow is actually part of. I don't know if that made sense. Let me know if you have any questions. So you'll notice that I put the the element, the pattern paper, with the red in the middle to tie in with that weight. And then I actually put opposite side pattern paper to match the butterflies. There you go. And there you have a faux watercolored card ready to go. Thank you so much for joining me for Make It Monday. I hope that you will participate in the challenge. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video.